The Grey Wolf, a powerful, tenacious, and awe-inspiring predator that lives in a pack dominated by an alpha male and female. Well, no. No, not really. There's actually no such thing as a alpha wolf. The terms alpha, beta, and omega males and females refer to social positioning of certain animals. These were first coined by the scientist Rudolf Schenkel in 1947, and later popularized by David Meck in his 1970 book, The Wolf, Ecology and Behavior of an Endangered Species, where he claimed that the alpha male status of a pack was won through violent fights until the strongest or most aggressive individual became dominant. This study utilized captive grey wolves that were unrelated and brought together from different areas to an abnormal environment. So picky. This unnatural setting forced these animals to form a hierarchy one would not normally see in nature. Because of this, Mech himself has since denounced the term alpha, stating that it is no more appropriate than referring to a human parent or a doe deer as an alpha. We now know today that naturally occurring wolf packs consist of a mating pair and their offspring, the stereotypical nuclear family. The parents of this pack are monogamous and will stay together for life, though in the event that one of the breeding pair dies, it is possible that a lone wolf will be adopted into the pack for the sole purpose of replacing them. On exceedingly rare occasions, non-related wolves may join a pack, but these individuals are often young and not a threat to the current breeding pair's dominance. Adopted male wolves may also attempt to mate with a single female, at which point the two will often leave to form their own pack elsewhere. So, there you have it. Now you know there's no such thing as an alpha wolf, and the term adopted by so many men insecure in their own masculinity came from poor science. Look at that cat. She's so happy. If you found this video elucidating or entertaining, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to encourage me to make more of these in the future. Be an athlete.